their future potential. Well, we're joined by the photographer Andy Whelan and John Rosser, who's the CEO of the World Child Cancer Charity. Gents, good to see you both. John, mm -hmm. it's um, in some respects not a surprise that there are differences in survival mm -hmm. rates across mm -hmm. the globe, but they're, they're perhaps more stark than we would have thought. They are huge. So over 80% of children who get cancer in Britain will survive, whereas in the countries where we work, that's more like 10%. Uh, and that's just unfair, and we think we can change that. And so that's what we try and do as a, as a charity. Uh, and what are the reasons? What are the reasons that you found? It's really about training doctors, training nurses, getting the drugs available. Um, and of course, you know, in many cases, the drugs are not free in these countries in the way they are here, and poor parents just struggle to pay the costs of being able to afford them. I mean, it's an interesting project, this, Andy. Mm -hmm. I wonder how you felt as a photographer dealing with these youngsters who look very bright, very happy, knowing what they've been through. Um, the, the children themselves, yes. they, they haven't actually been through the cancer themselves. Oh, these children no. haven't? No. These are um, children that were contacted to be part of the, the photo shoot. Um, it was actually my daughter that was um, diagnosed with cancer um, in 2016. I got involved in the project because in 2017 she passed away. I'd been creating a, a small blog and one of the pictures went... Um, it received quite a lot of interest. And from that, I was contacted by World Child Cancer asking if I'd like to be involved in helping them with the photo shoot. So, but, but as a father then, to I mean, there's obviously a, a, a sense of, of a relief, gratitude, no doubt, for where you live and the, and the services that have been made available to mm -hmm. you, but what a thing to go through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I understand that in this country we are very fortunate with the service that we receive. Um, they did amazing for my daughter. Uh, and obviously, when you look at the stats, that I mean, I was like yourselves unaware of the differences in the treatments. Um, so to see that stark difference is quite shocking. Mm. And where did you find the strength from to to be involved with something like this? You know, bearing in mind your, your loss, and then to to throw yourself into potentially you know helping others, but still, it comes at a personal cost to you. Yeah, um, photography became my therapy during my daughter's illness. I used it to focus on, I used it to better the pictures, the family pictures we had. Um, and then the first campaign I was involved in was about 10 months after she passed away. And it was hard, you know, I was suffering emotionally at the time, obviously still now, but mm -hmm. that burden has become slightly easier in that respect. I've been working hard to overcome that, so to actually now help others, and that was the point of the blog. Part of that was to raise awareness mm. regarding childhood cancer within this country and now working with World Child Cancer. See, John, it's, there isn't going to be, there cannot be a single person watching who doesn't think this is a great idea. But we know that cancer treatments, can, as, you, as you said, can be very, very expensive. How on earth do you, be, do you, do you even begin to be able to, to, to balance this out? Well, cancer treatments can be very expensive, particularly here, where all the high-tech treatment and, and the very latest drugs and so on are used. Where we work, we haven't got access to all of that. Mm. We use generic drugs that are much cheaper. The cost for common childhood cancers of, of the treatment is about £500. So to save a life, £500 isn't so much. No, that's a lot less than, than I would have thought. Yeah. I guess, well, the, it a lot costs of much would... more here um, mm. because the level of care is so much, so much greater and the, the input's so much higher. But, but we can make a real big impact for ver relatively little money. Um, that's the thing. So what, so what you're trying to, to, to do is actually achievable. Yes, it is. And, and we can get survival up from 10% for the kids who get into treatment up to about 60%, um, even without all the high-tech treatments that, that we have here. The problem we've got is that most children never get a diagnosis, so they don't get to treatment and they just die of a mystery illness. And that's what we want to change, really. We want to get them all to have a chance of a life. Okay. and the chance well, look, of growing up. Yes. Well, and we wish you well with that, of course. Um, John, Andy, thank you thank both you very much. Thank indeed. you very much. Stay thank with you. us here on Sunrise. Lots more coming up for you in just a moment.